While the auto industry continues to work on improving self-driving cars, one brand is racing ahead of the pack with self-mining vehicles. Daymac, a Canadian company, has officially revealed that it is developing the world's first cryptocurrency mining car. The Spiritus, a new light electric car, will be outfitted with high-tech mining hardware and blockchain technologies that will allow it to mine various types of cryptocurrency while it's charging. From Bitcoin to Dogecoin, you must be wondering how is that even possible? Keep watching because we'll be breaking it all down for you right here. We won't hold it against you if you've never heard of Daymac. The battery expert and e-bike scooter mobility solution supplier is developing a three-wheel electric vehicle that can mine cryptocurrencies while charging. Daymac says that Daymac Nebula, its patent pending, full cryptocurrency infrastructure will be included in its future Spiritus electric automobile. Daymac Inc. was formed in 2002 and is based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. With over 100,000 cars delivered, the firm is a pioneer in personal light electric vehicles, or LEVs for short, and the number one distributor and producer of LEVs in Canada. The Avenir series, which includes the Daymac Spiritus automobile, is a comprehensive lineup of groundbreaking personal mobility vehicles that will begin production in 2022 and include everything from electric cars to electric flying vehicles. The patent-pending wireless charging technology developed by Daymac is more compact, cost-effective, and scalable than any other wireless charging technology now available. On their approach to a connected, accessible future, Daymac's objective is to reinvent powered mobility, allowing individuals to make statements rather than emissions. The Spiritus, which will debut in select regions in 2023, is the flagship electric car in the Daymac Avenir series, which includes everything from e-bikes to flying electric cars. The company revealed earlier this week that it will take cryptocurrency pre-order payments for Spiritus, including Doge, Ethereum, Cardano, and Bitcoin, making it one of the first electric car manufacturers to do so. Every Spiritus vehicle, including the Daymac Nebula Miner and Nebula Wallet, will be a blockchain node. The Daymac Spiritus is the first automobile in history to have mining gear and cryptocurrency technology built into the user interface, thanks to Daymac Nebula technology. Nebula infrastructure transforms the Spiritus vehicles into environmentally friendly crypto miner nodes as emission-free daily transportation with solar charging capability. We envision a future where your highway tolls, parking, and drive-through orders will be paid directly on the fly with crypto. The car can handle your online bills and your banking through the same software platform paid in crypto. And whereas most vehicles are depreciating while they sit in your garage, the Nebula Miner will make you money while your Spiritus is parked, says Aldo Biocchi, president of Daymac. He explains that the company is not just about building EVs. We have positioned our Daymac Avenir series as the electric cars of tomorrow and tomorrow's vehicles will feature an array of technology systems seamlessly integrated for the convenience of the driver. You may generate money while parked by using Spiritus's Nebula Miner application. Spiritus automobiles will include a sophisticated graphics processor unit GPU akin to the Nevada and Intel GPU seen in Bitcoin mining rigs. When the car is charging, it will mine for cryptocurrency using its built-in technologies. Your profits may be gathered, saved, and transacted while using the car's Nebula wallet, which is securely incorporated within the Spiritus interface. Daymac is integrating Bitcoin into the Spiritus product, offering from the ground up, claiming that Spiritus and crypto will work hand in hand from the time a consumer requests a car until it is transported to a place that takes the cryptocurrency payments. We are also working with a variety of exchanges to offer leasing payments via crypto. This is yet another aspect of crypto integration that the Daymac Spiritus is pioneering, Biochi says, in addition to all other exciting tech in the car like the Daymac on data wireless charger and the Ionix artificial intelligence battery system. The Daymac Nebula platform is yet another technology breakthrough that makes the Spiritus one of the most advanced cars in history. This technology will be available for licensing to other electric vehicle manufacturers as well. Pre-orders for the Daymac Spiritus are now available with the entry-level deluxe model starting at $19,995 in North America. A higher-end Ultimate model, costing $149,000, is also available to purchase. The deluxe version has a top speed of 136 km per hour and a driving range of around 290 km, as well as several comforts and safety features as well as crypto mining and wallet technology. The Ultimate model, on the other hand, lives up to its exorbitant price tag. 
sprinting from 0 to 60 in only 1.8 seconds and receiving a top speed of 209 kilometers per hour. It has a 480 kilometer driving range and some self-driving capabilities. When clients receive their vehicles in 2023, Biochi is convinced that they'll be driving the world's most advanced and thrilling three-wheel car. More than 25,000 pre-orders have already been placed on the Spiritus. The photographs are stunning, the specifications sound fantastic, and Daymac has been operating for about two decades. However, they are primarily an e-bike and scooter manufacturer. While I'd love to see them construct some amazing electric cars that have a faster pickup than a Tesla Roadster, I'll need to see some proof before I start emptying my pockets. Daymac, the ball is now in your court. Show us what you're made of. And now, we want to hear from you. Leave your verdict in the comments below. What do you think about this new cutting edge technology? And if you were to buy an EV, would you go for the newcomer Daymax Spiritus with the crypto mining capabilities, or will you stick with the somehow more traditional EVs in the market? Whatever it is, let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.